I have decided on the paints and the wallpaper for the house, which is very, very exciting. I've gone with Fire and Bowl because I've used them forever, so I know their paints and their wallpapers. I love the quality, the texture, the unique styles, and the unique paint colors that they have. This is so delicious. I think it's warm and it's welcoming and it's rich. It's called a reddish, a deep reddish brown in glass. And I just love it. It reminds me of chocolate. And I feel like the front door is like a really important color to choose. It's like your statement. And yeah, come on in. So I've matched that with the archway that's gonna be in the kitchen, just this art to draw the eye into the house to make the house feel immediately bigger. And then I'm going to wallpaper all of this wall, this beautiful new wallpaper, which is a collaboration between um, Farrer and Ball and Christopher John Rogers. He's a fashion designer, but the whole design is based on food for the whole collection. This is carte blanche stripe wallpaper with a delicious macadamia, ole and licorice stripe. And then I've picked up the licorice in the skirting board with the licorice paint. That is going to go all the way here, all above the loo. And by the way, I'm keeping the sink in the loo. Thank you so much. You're so right. <laughs> it's going to wrap all the way up the staircase. And the idea is that there'll be a flow to the layout of the house. And then for the rest of the room down here, I'm using the roasted macadamia paint. So in the guest bedroom, and I am so so obsessed with this wallpaper. It makes me so happy. It's the carte blanche um, collaboration again. It's the stripe. This is shallot, ole, and romesco, as in romesco sauce. It's so, it makes me so happy. Um, and then I'm going to match up all the skirting with the shallot paint. Lucky guests and family that come and stay in this room. That's all I'll say. And now we are in my living room, and I feel like I'm looking at the sea. Oh, this is so calming and it reminds me of the water. It's called Sardine and it's from the new collection. Again, the carte blanche collection. Um, and I'm going to do the whole room in this beautiful, calm sardine colour. And then as you come in here into my study, this is blue inchira, which I've used lots before. It's really, I love it. And then when you come into the studio, you Turn around, and this is where I'm going to do my library, all shelving, and I'm going to do it in that vibrant, gorgeous, fun romesco. So it'll be a little surprise as you come around to see all the shelving in this red romesco with all the books on it. I think it's going to be amazing. Now in our bedroom, and I wanted a really calming colour here, so I've gone with the setting plaster dead flat, which is a really lovely, soft, kind of dreamy pink. Before we leave the bedroom to go downstairs to the kitchen, I want to show you an update. The arch is done, you know, into the bathroom. And doesn't it make a big difference? And finally, the kitchen, I'm doing it in cane, which is beautiful yellow mustard color. And I'm continuing it from floor to ceiling, but also all across the ceiling. Fireball gave me this amazing tip to make a room feel a bit bigger. And because the kitchen, the ceiling is the lowest in the whole house. I've continued the colour and I think it's really going to work. It's an amazing tip. But look at it against the beautiful caramel tiles that I showed you last week. Isn't that going to be delicious?